Hey, hey, it's Friday. You know what that means. It's time for another live class. Let me get my um, Instagram live camera a little more. There we are. Uh, so if you've been following me on Instagram stories this week, then you know the theme of the week is outfit planning and that is what this week's live class is all about. Oh, look at everyone just joining in. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so outfit planning. Why would we even do this? Now I'm super type A and crazy, so I've been planning my, my outfits since I was in like grade school because the worst thing in the world is waking up in the morning, putting on an outfit, having it not work, then you're late for school, you miss the bus, and it's a disaster. Hi everyone. Oh, look at that. My This is not an Amish hat, okay? <laughs> Someone's like, "Cute Amish hat." I see you, Dylan. Not Amish. <laughs> so, planning outfits, it saves you time. Number 1, because we're all busy, we have lives, we've got work, we've got family. We don't need to spend any extra time standing in front of the closet thinking, hmm, what should I wear? And then if you pick a crappy outfit, what happens is you end up having what I call a uh, closet meltdown. So you try something on, it doesn't work, you throw it on the floor, you try something else, you get frustrated and <laughs> Who does my brows? I do. I, they haven't been done professionally in a really long time, P.S. Me and the tweezers and a Tom Ford pencil. Um, so you have a meltdown, you keep trying stuff on, you get super frustrated, and then you end up putting on the same piece of crap outfit that you wear all the time. So that saves you sanity. So we've got time, we've got sanity, and then it also saves you money. A lot of things, people get into this habit a lot, and I even do it myself when I don't outfit plan, is I get addicted to the new. So I'll wear an outfit one way, one way only, I'll have worn it, I don't want to wear it anymore, and then I think I need a new outfit. I need a new piece to add to my closet. Then your closet gets so giant and full of stuff, and you're not wearing what you own. So if you take the time to plan out your outfits, you can get different combinations and you can get more creative with your clothes and that's going to actually save you money. So let's get right into it. <laughs> I like to plan my outfits for the week every Sunday and I like to throw myself a little outfit planning party. It's me. It's Drake. It's my drink of choice, which I already said this on Insta stories, Pellegrino, but for people that booze it up, might I suggest uh, maybe a little champagne, a little cocktail, kind of loosen you up so you can have so you can have fun with the outfit planning and kind of make it an event that happens in your week. So it's not like, oh, I have to like I have to plan these outfits because Lauren told me to. Like make it a fun part of your routine and it's going to make the rest of your week a total snap. Now if setting aside one day a week sounds a little bit out of control, then at least do it the night before. So I went out of town this weekend and I did not have time to do my regular Sunday, you know, party sesh. So last night I planned today's outfit and it made it really, really easy. So I'm gonna like lift up my leg. Uh, these are on Insta stories. These pants, they've got a crane on them. These pants I bought um, from Zara a couple weeks ago and I bought the little jacket to go with it and I wore that outfit for a video that's going to be coming out soon. It's an awesome um, three-part series on how to become a personal stylist, so stay tuned. But that was like the one way that I thought about wearing that outfit. And then I just put, you know, this back in the closet and I never really thought about it. I'm like, oh, well, I already wore that on video, so I can't really wear it on another video. When am I going to wear crane pants with like the full crane jacket in my life? But because I made it a priority to outfit plan, I set out these pants as one of my hero items for the week. And I set aside a little block of time where I could try different ways to wear this outfit. 
So I put my crane pants and I made it more casual with this little shirt and then I popped on this this vest and I made a new outfit with a piece that may have been ignored otherwise. And for me personally, maybe not everyone can relate, but when I buy like a fast fashion piece, you know, these are just from Zara, I kind of give them like whatever status in my wardrobe. So I'm like, whatever, I wore them once, I wore them on video, wore them for work. It doesn't really matter if I don't ever wear them again, but we should be wearing our clothes and we should be loving everything that we own. So I was pretty excited to like be able to wear the old crane pants again. Who knows? And it's fun to think of different combinations. Like maybe I could wear this with a t-shirt and a leather jacket. Maybe that would look crazy, but you don't know until you try. So it really flexes that creativity muscle and gets more use out of your clothes. So what I recommend is once you get all your party ingredients set, you got your music, you got your drink, you know, you got your little block of time, pick out just seven pieces that you want to wear for the week and grab some things that maybe you normally don't give a lot of attention to and then try as many different combinations as possible with those pieces. And the good thing about setting aside a little block of time is there's no pressure. There's no pressure to like get to work or get ready for that date or get ready for those dinner plans. It's just all fun. So you try on different combinations and then once you nail it, hi, um, once you nail it, you take a selfie. You take a selfie or if you feel like really awkward taking a selfie, you can lay the outfit out on the ground and take a little picture. And I create a lookbook on my phone. So if there is a time where I'm not sure what to wear or I don't know how to put something together, I go through my little album and I'm like, oh yeah, crane pants and a vest. That was a fun combination. And sometimes when you get into the spirit of it and you're just having fun, you can start planning beyond one week. So sometimes I'll plan a whole entire month's worth of, worth of outfits and have them in my phone and then I don't ever have to worry about it ever again. Ooh, someone's looking forward to the three-part series. And yes, I will give Yoji a kiss. He was supposed to be our special guest today, but Yoji can't behave himself, so he's been banished to the other, to the other room. All right, let me see what other points I wanted to share with you guys. Oh yeah, duh, this is important. So you're probably thinking like, okay, Lauren, I'm gonna set aside some time. I'm with you, I'm totally on board with this whole situation, but I am not a stylist and I don't know how to put these different combinations together. Where am I coming up with these ideas? I literally only know that crane pants go with crane jacket. This is where finding inspiration comes in very, very handy. I have a Pinterest board that I'm constantly updating all the time. I'm addicted to Pinterest and it's called My Style Upgrade. I had one that was my style, but I needed an upgrade. So I made a new board and I'm constantly just pinning different outfit ideas. And the secret to using Pinterest, which I share um, with my virtual styling clients and I share this on some of my videos is don't just pin items that look cute. You need to make notes to yourself on why you like this combination because sometimes I'll go back through my Pinterest and I'll be like, why the hell did I pin that picture? <laughs> I have no idea why I like this. And it could just be a matter of, I like how she rolled up her pants or I like that she put a kimono with leggings, or I like that she wore fishnets with her loafers. So put these little notes in there and right before your outfit planning, go through and see if you can get some ideas for your outfits, like a new way to wear a vest or a different way to wear a blazer or working an accessory into your wardrobe in a fresh way. Because what happens when we go into our closets to get dressed, Oh my God, my nails are so horrible. Look at that. I have three nails left. This is ridiculous. Uh, what happens is you're kind of in a haze and you just pick something up. This is exactly what happens when I don't plan. I'm like, ugh, I'll just put on a pair of jeans, 
this shirt looks comfortable, done. And there's absolutely no creativity. There's no layers, there's no accessories, there's no fun, there's no individuality. And that's how you start hating your clothes. So stop being so addicted to the newness and start making new things out of your outfits. Because something else that I've noticed within myself is you start buying the same stuff over and over and over again, when really restyling it, it serves the same, it serves the same purpose. So why buy another long sleeve black shirt when maybe if you tried that shirt with a different jacket, it would still have the effect of actually having a new shirt in your closet. So I'm just like a huge fan of this. I wanted to give you guys just a little, a little more in case you missed my Insta stories this week on, on why you should do this and, and how, and how you should do it. Um, if you just, if you want more, okay, I'm gonna do a little plug here. And I actually saw some of my, my uh, PSU students chiming into this video. Um, I have a virtual styling program called Personal Style University. And that's where I actually teach you how to get dressed. My other school, School of Style, teaches you how to do what I do for a living. But if you wanna learn how to cultivate your style, get dressed more efficiently, and just be more badass when it comes to style, that is the program for you. It's the new way that I style clients. and It's been absolutely phenomenal to see these women transform. But point is, one of the videos in the outfit planning module is easy outfit formulas. So different combinations that you can try with items you already have in your closet. So it makes that planning a whole lot easier. If anyone um, picked up my ebook, it's on my website. You can go in, buy the ebook, it's downloadable, it's awesome. There's a 30 day outfit calendar in there. And again, it gives you different uh, outfit combinations to try. It's like, oh, okay, cool t-shirt, you know, leather jacket, skinny jeans, and pumps. And you literally can go in your closet and start planning those outfits with the same leather jacket, but with 10 different t-shirts and 10 different skinny jeans. You would be surprised how much is actually already in your closet that you don't need to shop. <laughs> you don't need to shop. Once you've built a wardrobe that has all of the key ingredients that you need, my ultimate wardrobe checklist. I'm sure you all have downloaded it. If not, it's below all of my YouTube videos, the link to get it. Once you have those staples in your closet, once you understand different outfit formulas, and once you set aside the time to do some planning, getting dressed is a breeze. It's so easy and you don't have to spend a fortune when you're out shopping. So totally on that. All right, now I'm just looking at my at the Instagram feed to see if there's any questions, because hell, why not? It's Friday, let's get crazy. Um, do I conduct any online workshops, webinars? Um, well, <laughs> every Friday on Facebook Live and on Instagram Live at noon, I do these little free mini trainings, so feel free to join in. Um, last week, what was our theme last week? One week we had closet cleanses, Last week was style therapy. Um, this week is outfit planning. Next week, stay tuned, you'll find out. Um, and then I have my different online programs. So Personal Style University, um, definitely check that out, personalstyle.university, and you can see all of the, you know, what's inside the modules. I even have uh, free little sample lessons on my YouTube channel. They're just little like mini cuts from the classes which are a lot longer videos. There's like 20 videos in the core curriculum and then there's probably 24 um, bonus videos and there's downloads and there's workbooks. So that's kind of like the online training. Um, I've done webinars in the past, but I think these little social live things are a little bit more fun, at least in my opinion. I'm sure I'll do a webinar again. Um, and then for School of Style, all of our classes are online if you wanted to learn how to become a stylist. Um, let's see, someone's asking, oh, these stupid, the comments, they like, dis they disappear. Like they just go and then they're gone. Um, oh, let's see, how much money would you spend on luxury items per month? 
well, don't ask me because I'm like, I'm like, um, need that, need that. Like it really depends on the month and it just depends on what I see. Um, I really believe in buying the best quality that you can afford. So if you could afford to have a wardrobe that has more luxury items in it than like fast fashion, um, then do that because you want your clothes to last. Don't spend a bunch of money on trend pieces. For me, I go on more of like a trend piece diet where I'll make sure I'm only buying a small handful of things from like Zara or H&M to enhance my wardrobe per month. Because sometimes, again, like with the outfit planning, you get super addicted to something new. So you want a new outfit from H&M, you want a new outfit from Zara. But really all of that crap adds up and you can make way better outfits in your own closet using what you have with a little bit of planning, okay? Um, let's see, how long have we been going? Let's stick around for a couple more minutes, shall we? Chelsea, do you see any questions on there? Oh, what's my favorite website to shop yeah. at? Like they disappear. I've got Chelsea here in the corner. She's wrangling this whole operation. Uh, my favorite websites to shop on. Ooh, and this is actually great for the subject at hand. Um, I love net a and I love Outnet. Outnet is like my baby mama, okay? Um, <laughs> I love the Outnet and net a not only because they have great items on there and a lot of my wardrobe comes from those um, online retailers but they style all of their the pieces that they sell in really wearable ways so a lot of times when i'm getting inspired for the week to do my outfit planning i will go on those websites and hover over something similar to what i already have so i would go to the blazer section and i would look at the black blazers and if you hover over the image of the garment, it will show a model wearing a complete look. And they cut off her head, so you don't have to be like, oh, it only looks good because she's like pretty. No, she's a headless lady. And see like, oh my God, so cool. She put that blazer with like a gray tank top and then she rolled up the jeans a little bit and put it on with like cute little Converse. I'm gonna try that outfit combination. So I love those places because they just have really a great selection, but I also get inspired and I can see how I might actually wear the outfit if I purchased it. I'm actually waiting on a box from Outnet right now. I ordered this um, Alexander Wang like tight shirt-ish thing with little silver buttons. Um, but if I had just picked that up at the store or just pulled it out of my closet, I would be like, I don't know, I guess I'll wear it with jeans. But the model wore it with a uh, black skirt that was like nipped in at the waist and it kind of was like a little bit of an A-line skirt. It had pockets. So I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't wear enough skirts and I should try that. I should try like a form-fitting top with a tucked-in skirt more often. So it inspired me and it gave me an idea of how I could actually wear that piece. So those are like my number one go-to online retailers. I order stuff online from Zara because I hate going into Zara. I don't want to deal with those, um, with the lines, okay? I don't know about the Zaras wherever you live, but the ones in LA, they are not stoked to be alive <laughs> when you're there. Super annoying. And I just hate stores in general. I just, <laughs> I have to shop in them way too much for clients. When it comes to me, I'm shopping online. Okay. Um, someone said you can also look expensive with more affordable clothes, right? Duh, totally. Again, like when it comes to looking expensive and I have videos on my YouTube channel about this, it's literally, it's about the fit and it's about how you put that outfit together. Like at the end of the day, a black t-shirt is a black t-shirt, you know, like Sure, the more expensive ones, they might last a little bit longer or the fabric might feel better against your skin, but like everything doesn't have to be expensive. So if you're like styling your outfits properly and if you're making sure everything fits awesomely, getting things tailored, then like you can look like a million bucks. And a lot of looking expensive has to do with the total package. You know, like this vest, it could be from anywhere. Like, what do you know? but it's a total package. Like now I'm looking broke as a joke with my busted up nails, 
but like having your manicure on point, like doing your makeup, doing your hair, you know, having proper posture, all of that contributes into looking great. And a lot of that comes from confidence. And if you're rushing out the door, throwing on a whatever outfit, because you didn't have time to think about it, you're going to look disheveled, you're going to look crazy, and you're not gonna look expensive and pulled together. So setting aside the time to make on point outfits, look at people that are wearing expensive stuff and mimic it, and then you're well on your way to feeling and looking fabulous all the time. Cool. Oh, I think this is a great place to end on. Thank you for your advice. And I always look amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's that. We'll, um, we'll wrap it up. But stay tuned. Um, make sure that you're downloading all of my fun freebies because I love to give fashion advice for free because I want everyone looking awesome. So my YouTube channel is a great resource. Um, there's freebies below it, my checklist. I've got some eBooks down there. Grab those because then you'll be on my mailing list and I will give you a heads up on what the topics are for these free live classes on Fridays. And we can just all work together to look stylish as all get out. Okay, cool. Thanks so much for joining me. See you guys later.